Hey, welcome. This is DR from Try. So today's tutorial is a basic video on MOJS. MOJS is a direct port of Bullet Physics Engine that is based in C++ and converted to JavaScript using MScripton. There are many other physics engines such as CanonJS, IMOJS, Unable 3D. Also, there is a 2D physics engine called MetaJS. But among all, MOJS is widely used. It is comparatively harder to learn, but it has more features than any other. So let's learn some basics of MOJS. So here I have a basic 3JS setup where I have declared renderer, scene, camera, geometry, lights. Also I have initialized orbit controls. This is the basic 3JS setup that I have already mentioned in the previous videos. You can check it out some 3JS videos of mine to learn the basic 3JS. So I have declared renderer, a camera, scene and directional light and ambient light. Also enable the shadows of the direction light and I have a resize function and an update loop. Now download the MOJS build from its github repo and include the MOJS file into static folder of your project. To import MOJS, we have to modify its file. So open the MOJS file, delete this.mo equal to b and also add export default mo so that we can import it in our files. And if you are using webpack then install path browserify and add this both lines to your result in the webpack config file. Let's import mo from the static folder. So to initialize mo we will add start mo function and in that function we will add mo and when mo is initiated and resolve the promise we will start mo by implementing component of mo equal to mo and then adding a clone of mo so that we can use it if we want. Let's console log this mo. Okay, so as you can see it has written an mo class where all the parameters and functions of mo are displayed. BT is short form for bullet because it is directly ported from the bullet engine. We can here use the same functions as bullet. So first we will add a temporary transform of MO so that we can use it later to animate the objects that are colliding. So at temp transform equal to new MO.BT transform. We will also add an empty array called rigid bodies in which we will push all our rigid bodies to calculate the collision between them. I have called this function called setup physics world and I have passed the MO class in it. Now if you doesn't know how the physics engine work in general or bullet in general then this is for you. So to integrate physics in websites we need two main things. First a physics component and a graphics component. We have already included graphics component using 3JS. You can also use canvas API to make 2D graphics. So apart from that in physics world there are main four components you need to learn. So first physics world has main parent component called collision world and it has sub derivative class like dynamic world or soft body dynamic world. Second is rigid body dynamics. It consists of force, mass, inertia, velocity, everything a rigid body needs to work in the physics world. Third is collision filtering. Collision filtering sets which objects should collide and which not. It also consists of collision detection which will detect when two objects will collide. Fourth is constraint. Constraint are just joints. It connects two rigid bodies together. It has many examples like point to point constraint, hinge constraint, slider constraint, con twist constraint and probably many more. We will declare the set of physics world and pass mo in it. Then we will get four main functions that are directly ported from bullet as it is. The first one is a default collision configuration. It allows mo to use full collision detection method instead of broad pass. We will then use collision dispatcher to dispatch or register a callback that will that will filter out the overlapping broadface proxies so that collision are not processed by rest of the system. Then we will use bullet broadface algorithm. It will calculate every pair of the objects that are colliding, but also it will include pair of objects whose bounding box intersect, but they are not still close enough to collide. And the fourth one is solver, specifically bullet sequential impulse constraint solver. This will allow objects to interact properly in the physics world. Now let's add discrete dynamic world. This is the dynamic world, that is the physics world that we need. It also has many variants like soft rigid dynamic world for soft body simulation or cloth like effect or soft volume effect. We will pass dispatcher, solver, configuration and the broadface overlapping. Now let's set the gravity of the physics world that we just initiated. Now let's check in the console log whether it is working or not. Okay, so after changing it to dynamics, it is working properly and physics world has initiated. Now let's add the block and ball to our physics world. Now let's add a new function called create plane to create our plane or block. We will pass mo in it 
and a default ammo clone as a parameter. Add some variables that we can use throughout these functions like position, scale, quote, and the mass. Mass of the object defines whether it is active or passive. If it is zero, then the plane is passive, it, it won't affect by gravity. But if it is above zero, then it will be affected by gravity. Now let's create a plane for our physics world. We will add box geometry instead of plane geometry using 3JS. So I've created a mesh called block pen and, and added a box geometry with scale x, y and z of our predefined parameters and added a form material to make them react to the lights. We will set the position of that mesh according to the parameters position and we will enable cast shadow and receive shadow equal to true and add it to the scene. Remember to add create pen function into the create emo function. Also we will remove the old box or cube from the scene. Now let's start with physics in emojis. So first we will declare a transform for this block particularly and we will set its identity and set the origin according to the new vector just like we use vector 3 in 3js with set position x position y and position z then we will set the rotation with quaternion quad x quad y quad z and quad w we will also add a motion state called bt dot default motion state and we will pass the transform of this block plane into it motion states stores the state of motion of the rigid bodies and will help it obtain the transform of physics body and equally set it now let's add the local inertia so we will set all the inertia on axis to zero and we will add a new shape that is the bounding box of our object this will ensure that collision will happen in the shape particularly only for this we will set a box shape and we will have to add half of the length of the box so we will add scale.x into 0.5 that will make the half of scale x scale y and scale z then we will set its margin to 0 0.05 so that calculates the gap between colliding objects we will also add calculate local inertia and we will, we will pass mass and local inertia in it we have to make rigid body construction information in which we will pass mass of the object motion state and shape of the object To create a rigid body, we will create BT rigid body and we will pass all the rigid body information in it and then we will pass rigid body into the physics world. Ok, so now let's create a new function called create ball. We will pass MO in this function and we will call this function after create plane. We will copy same parameters from the plane function except we will change y axis of position to 20 and we will and we will change scale parameter to radius as we don't need any scale parameters other than radius for sphere. We will change its mass to 1 so that it is an active rigid body. Ok, so let's use 3JS to create a new mesh. We will add sphere geometry and we will pass radius as its parameter and we will add a new form material with color red. So we will set the position of the ball as position x, y and z from the parameters and we will enable cast shadow and receive shadow equal to true. Let's add this to the scene. So as you can see we have added the ball in scene. Now let's create the physics for the ball. We will copy transform motion state local inertia from the create plane function as we have to create a new transform new motion and new local inertia for this function particularly we will add a new shape called sphere shape we only have to pass the radius of the shape like before let's set margin calculate local inertia we will create same rigid body construction information to pass it to the new rigid body of ball we will add this rigid body to the physics world and we will and we will push this to the rigid bodies array that we have created before and we will pass rigid body as user data of the 3JS mesh as a physics body. Now let's add a new update physics function where we will update physics calculation only. So let's add a new step simulation where it will update the function or the physics calculation time by time just like request animation frame. Now we will create a new loop where we will calculate each rigid body and we will transform the rigid body to its motion state. So we will pass rigid bodies of that particular number to a new variable called 3 object and we will pass 3 object user data physics body that we have stored in the create ball to a new MO object. Then we will get motion state of that object and we will check whether the motion state is there or not. If, if, the, if we have detected any motion state then we will get a ball transformation with the temp transformation that we have earlier declared and we will set a new position to the temporary transform origin and a new quad to the rotation of that temp temporary transformation. Now we will set the three object position 
as the pores x pores y and pores z from the from the origin of temporary transformation and will similarly set its quaternion to quart x quart y and quart z then we will pass this function to our update loop and we will check if the physics while is initiated then only call the update physics function and we will pass delta clock in it now let's save and check if it is working so it is not working and the reason is we have implemented set gravity to simple 0 0 0 instead we have to set it to vector 3 of mo to 0 so now it is working right you can of course change the values of delta to change the speed and you can add new balls or, or a new instances to create multiple balls that deflects on the plane. See you in the next video. Peace.